Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a completion finally. Uh, so today I'm just going to do a little bit of a chat and a kit down of this little kit. There's uh, only 19 colours um, so it won't take much kitting down. But yeah, this is my little uh, Westie, West Highland White Terrier that looks like my little Westie called Hat. that we had uh, that's sadly over the rainbow bridge now he was my first dog and you've always got a soft spot for your first well I have anyway <laughs> okay uh, Millie was a bit miffed about uh, me doing a, a Westie rather than a Scotty I'll put the picture and it was quite funny when I showed her the picture and she just looked but anyway so yeah he was lovely to do uh, great drills, great fun. It was from Amazon and I've had it since the 7th of October last year. So it's over a year old. So I finally got it done, which is why I started my hashtag living the 30 by 40 life 22 because I've got so many 30 by 40s and I wanted to get some of them done because I seem to just do all other things. And then I thought, nope, I'm going to do some for myself and get some of my pictures that I really, really like done. And this one will be framed and going on the wall. Uh, it has got DMC codes, so we can put them all away in our storage. Uh, and the only thing that I didn't like was the fact that D and O, you can see there we've got a D and we've got an O down here, are both practically the same colour and are both white writing on uh, brown backgrounds. So yeah, that was not good. And of course, because of the colour of the picture, that were all in pretty similar places as well so I had to be really careful when I got to those to make sure that I did the right symbol. Uh, to be honest they are so close in colour I don't think it would have really mattered if I'd have put one uh, in an odd place. This did have a lot of those really teeny tiny like little pips as I call them um, in the ca oh gosh there's a couple stuck on the canvas there look that have got stuck. I don't know if you can just see the one just there. And they're like little like bits dropped off, which they probably are bits dropped off, um, of the canvas of the drills as they've been manufactured. So there was a lot of those and I tend to find if you get those stuck in your pen, then of course it then doesn't pick your drill up. So just a couple of little problems with this one, but nothing major. And I really enjoyed doing it. And as you can see, um, I think the last video I did, um, I had still had like three big chunks to do. And actually, I sat and did those while I was watching the television um, with the sad news of the Queen's passing. So, yeah, that was, I won't say a shock. Anyway, let's get into it and we'll have a little chat. So I've got my um, storage out for my drills. This is the Admore Zest. Uh, storage or it's based on Rebecca's storage this is how she stores hair drills and to be fair it's the best way that I've found to store them I've tried lots of different ways and this is the best way that I've come across so I'm sticking with it and I do always link Rebecca and add more zest her channel her YouTube channel down below because it's only fair it was her idea I certainly didn't see anybody else doing this before Rebecca so I will always link Rebecca okay um, basically what I have is uh, a little card with HDMC on with a little sticker on Rebecca does sell these stickers and I think there is still a free download if you wanted to pick uh, print your own off uh, if you check out the Admore Zest website then admorezest.com um, I think the free download is still there for these uh, labels so you can print your own and do your own and just cut your little cards out this is very messy because there's far too many drills in the two boxes that I've got for my rounds I've also got an exact box for my squares and then again in Rebecca's shop she does sell the little stickers with the diamonds on uh, and she's got round ones for round drills and square ones for square drills which is excellent uh, I did buy them because I decided I wanted mine to look really smart although it doesn't much at the minute but that's what I decided to do but obviously you can use any stickers that you've got you could even use those stickers that I showed in an unboxing recently and um, that I'd got from one of the websites you know that had all the DMC codes on and it was colour coded as well to the colour so yeah 
quite a bit there. Okay, so any questions, let me know in the comments down below or pop across to uh, Rebecca's website. I'm sure she'll help you out. Right, let's put this little Westie on one side. Uh, one last little stroke of him because he's very, very pretty. Yeah, gorgeous. And I just love the two drills in his eyes. And I, I am finding actually with the challenge that it's amazing how well the 30 by 40 canvases are coming out. Um, I know we all say that the bigger the canvas, the better and the more detail you'll get. But you can still get some really good detail in some of the 30 by 40 canvases. And it's been proved by the photographs that have uh, been sent to me or posted onto the Instagram, uh, Instagram? Instagram channel. I'm making up my own words now. <laughs> um to show yeah so i am going to put a little montage at the end of this as well of all the entries that we've got so far and as i say just after um the 14th of september i will be doing the uh, little draw for the first freebie for the first little giveaway um for the people that are entering for the people that are just posting the completion so yay thank you okay so let's have a look at these as i say it's only 19 colors so I'm saying it's going to be a quick chat and I'm waffling on like uh, there's no tomorrow, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so yeah, the last uh, video that I posted, um, well, on Friday uh, was, well, I, I filmed it in the morning and then come lunchtime, oh, I'll just move those out of the way. That's my little fridge with my scissors in, look, my nice coloured scissors. So yeah, and then we did get the sad news at uh, lunchtime, half past 12 British time, saying that Queen Elizabeth uh, was very ill and that the family had been called, which is always one of those signs, I'm afraid. So we then spent the next six hours uh, watching the television. Um, all the channels, sort of out of respect, cancelled all the programming and everything. Um, and you know you just basically were watching and waiting to see what happened and they were interviewing everybody uh, and yeah it can get very repetitive and it can get very boring but then i don't know it just wouldn't feel right to then go and watch a comedy or something and be sat there laughing when the queen of england well, the queen of great britain um like the commonwealth sorry i should i keep calling her the queen of england but uh, she is the queen of great britain and uh, ireland and whatever um yeah when she's gravely ill you know it just i don't know just old-fashioned sensibilities i suppose just the way we've always been uh so yeah and uh, then sadly at uh, half past six the flag was lowered to half mast the union flag on buckingham palace was lowered to half mast and they announced that the queen had died that she had passed away um, we'd seen all the pictures of her family rushing to get to her and everything uh, but Prince Charles, her eldest son, was always already there with her with his wife Camilla and uh, I believe that Princess Anne was there as well already so you know there were people around her and uh, yeah so it's really strange it's like I don't know as with when anybody passes away I suppose your first thought is oh what do we do now? You know, uh, and it is sad. I mean, I've not known any other queen. I've, you know, anybody that's under the age of 70 will have always known a queen. Uh, my mum and dad um, do remember the king, her father, uh, because, uh, well, my dad was actually um, in the RAF. He was doing his national service in the RAF when the uh, coronation of Queen Elizabeth happened. So he remembers the king and he, he's been telling us a few bits and pieces about uh, when the king died and what he remembers he was actually in the uh, parade you know when you see it on the television the coronation parade my dad was actually there as uh, yeah an RAF person so yeah uh, it's all very strange very sad we've still got lots of uh, news things all the pomp and ceremony that's going on now um you've just been watching this morning that uh, the privy council of sort of like sworn Prince Charles in. Uh, I didn't realise that as soon as uh, one uh, monarch dies, the next one takes over straight away. There's no sort of like a prime minister or a president or whatever having to be signed in and t told, you know, you are the prime minister or the president um, and sworn in or whatever. It is just literally as one dies, uh, as the Queen passed away, um, Prince Charles automatically became King Charles and he's King Charles the third 
uh, there was a bit of confusion as to whether he would be known as King Charles or he would take on um, another name. I know Queen Elizabeth's father was actually called David, but he took on the uh, name of King George. But the royal family do all seem to have like four or five names anyway, so they've got plenty to choose from. Um, yeah, and then this morning, as they were doing this little ceremony, uh, I think it was it was it St James Palace. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and they had all the Queen's guards, you know, with the Busby hats on, the big black hats, big fluffy bearskin hats. Um, and they took those off and put them on their shoulder and then um they sort of like a hip hip hooray and they raised their hats up and i've never ever seen that before so it's fascinating stuff it's all our history all our country's history and uh, whether you love or hate the royal family or whatever it's fascinating it's well it's our history and you know we're seeing parts of it now that i would say most people in this country have never seen before and certainly, even all the bits that went on today, you know, the Privy Council, it was all filmed. Whereas, of course, when the Queen was sworn in, um, then, you know, it, there wasn't such things. Um, her wedding was televised, and that's when a lot of people in the UK did actually start getting televisions. Um, I, I remember that, you know, there was people that, the one person down the street that actually had the television, um everybody went to their house i'm not that old i don't remember that <laughs> but that's what i've been told by uh, people and friends and family um you know mum and dad and everything you know not everybody had a television but after the queen's coronation had been televised then people did start getting televisions prior to that you used to go to the cinema and watch the newsreels um and uh, they would play you know the black and white films of everything you know uh so yeah it it, it, it is fascinating it's very very sad i mean you know I, I, it's at the end of a huge era i mean 70 years is a long long time and i have to say i don't envy prince charles taking on a new job at 73 he'll be 74 i think in november i think somebody said uh, you see, I've been watching, I've been taking all this in. It, it, it's fascinating, isn't it? Great while you're diamond painting, you can just sit and listen and get all your diamond paintings done. Um, I do like history, I do uh, watch the history, but yeah, it's like, you know, being, um, well, taking over a multi-million pound corporation, going to the head of a multi-million pound corporation at the age of 73. You know, you think, blooming heck, most people have retired and are enjoying life and relaxing by the time they get to 73. Um, or you'd like to think you would be anyway. I'm not quite sure these days, but anyway, that's a whole other story. I'm not going into that. And I'm certainly not going into the politics of it or anything. Um, I just think it's a mark of respect. Um, just to pay your respects and just maybe keep opinions to yourself a little bit if you're anti-royal at the moment um yeah i've seen a few on social media and i just think yeah not the time and place uh but that's just possibly my generation and the way we've brought up just to show that little bit of respect i know my grandma wasn't a royal um family uh, friend at all she really did not like the royal family um so yeah she didn't really have many good words to say about them so you know i do value other people's opinions and we have got all got our opinions but i do think there's a time and a place and uh, yeah i don't know it's strange i know one of the um speeches in the house of commons one of the politicians did say it's like strange you don't know why you're feeling how you're feeling at the moment you are feeling a sense of loss but you know you, you've probably never met her um, but I suppose, like he said, she's always been there. We've always had a queen. She's on all our money, our passports, our stamps. You know, it, it, it's just we've always had a queen. So it's really strange now to be uh, saying, God save the king. Um, and, um, my uh, youngest granddaughter uh, is very interested in history and the royal family. And she was glued to the television. And then she had to go to Brownie's. Uh, that night and at Brownies um, she actually they sang one final time God Save Our Gracious Queen our national anthem and then after they'd finished that one they then, then sang 
God Save Our Gracious Queen, uh, King. So they sang it twice, one for the Queen to say goodbye and one to welcome the new King. So I thought that was lovely. I thought that was such a nice touch. And I suppose, yeah, because I've always been in like guides and brownies and you do pledge uh, allegiance to the Queen and everything, don't you? So yeah, now they'll all be saying, promise to do my best, to do my duty to God and to serve the King rather than the Queen. It's going to take some getting used to. I bet there'll be a few people still singing the wrong words in the national anthem. You'll be second guessing yourself all the time. But yeah, it's uh, and it's gone round the world as well. It's been interesting to see, you know, like the Eiffel Tower. They turned the lights off there and quite a few buildings around the world. And uh, the thing I did find quite touching, I don't know, you know, which country you're in, whether you've seen it or not, but... Um, as the announcement of the Queen's death was uh, announced, Windsor Castle, there was a rainbow just appeared next to Windsor Castle. And it was there for a minute and then it just went and I just thought, wow, that was just so poignant. So goodness me. Right, let me get box two. Okay, I'm back so I'm looking for Nilo too. So... Yeah, it's been a funny old uh, couple of days. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't post a video on, well, Thursday, as I actually filmed it Thursday morning, as I say. Um, my update and then kitting up Starry Night. Uh, it just didn't feel right somehow. No, you know, if you, if you post videos and whatever, that that's fine. But, you know, for me personally, it is. these are just my personal opinions. Uh, for me personally, it just didn't feel right. It just felt really disrespectful. Because, you know, I, I do laugh and joke on my videos. And I did think, no, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, you, you just, you don't really know how to feel. You know, you sort of like feel sad and a great sense of loss. But not the upset because it's somebody really close to you. But it's because everything changes now. You know, it, it, it's very, very strange feeling. I don't know. Um, but yeah it's we'll just go on we're british you know we just carry on stiff up a lip and all that and um, the flowers are amazing you know people are taking flowers obviously it's uh, reminiscent of when princess diana died um as i've said before and mentioned in previous uh, videos we were in london um the day princess diana died we actually started our holiday in london um and did the drive all the way from uh, East Yorkshire down to London um, with very sombre music playing because obviously nobody wanted adverts for well whatever and uh, things like that uh, on the day that the princess had died uh, so yeah it, it was um, and strangely enough uh, if I'd have still been at work now at the end of the month I will be officially unemployed um, although you know I've not been to work for a couple of years um and on the leave chart this week and next week would have been our leave <laughs> and 95 percent sure we would have been going to london and visiting my brother and his family down there so yeah uh, and not only were we in london when princess diana died but more than likely we would have been there for all this for the queen uh, it's one of those things that it's not nice to see because it's so sad, but it's also history. So it makes you feel a part of it. So I'm not really explaining myself very well, but you know what I mean? You, you feel as though you're part of it and it's something that will stay with you, something that you've seen, albeit however sad it is, it is still an event that will stay with you. And, you know, it is, well, I suppose, worth seeing, if that's the right way to put it. So, yeah, uh, it's just all a bit strange. As I say, when I finish this video, I'll probably go back and have another look at the television. Um, there are still very limited programmes on at the moment. All the usual soaps and all the usual competition-type programmes aren't on. Um, some of the, the, the movie channels are still playing, so you can still watch a movie. But to be honest, I started watching one last night and then I couldn't really get into it. Um, so I ended up just reading my book, to be honest, because I just, I don't know. Very strange, very odd. Must be my age. <laughs> Ooh, that's squares. 
Why have I got a square one? Have I picked up squares? No, that's round. That's, oh, I've got an extra bag in there. I think, oh, that was one that was missing. So four, three is squares. Oh, okay, I'll have to have a look at that in a minute then because that's, that's completely wrong. Let me find my squares box. Right, so let me see. Is my rounds in my squares then? As you can see, this is a lot later. Um, this is one where uh, it's all completely uniform, but I've got a lot less square spares, try saying that, uh, than I have round, round uh, spares. Yeah, I nearly said round squares then. <laughs> so I'm looking for a 3743. So... Yeah, there's the rounds, so I need to put those back in that one. Oh, it's a good job I spotted it, and it's a good job I've got the square sticker on, otherwise I'd have just muddled those up. Not that it matters in the grand scheme of things, but I'd prefer not to. <laughs> okay, I did used to have my rounds and squares all just behind one card. And then because the boxes got so full, I decided to split my rounds and squares. Plus as well, I did keep putting my rounds and my squares in the wrong bags. So now they're in separate boxes. I aren't making that mistake, although I nearly did just then. <laughs> All right, let me put it back in the right place. So four, six, four, three. Okay. So three, seven, fifty is the next one. Fifty, fifty, fifty is there. Okay. Oh, that deep blue. Yeah, that was the bottom of this one, I think. Uh, oh no, it ran, ran across the middle, like the um, hills and everything in the background on this one. Okay, so it will be interesting to see what happens on the funeral day, whether they decide to uh, class it as a bank holiday or not. Um, whether they will close things down, I would think a lot of people will want to watch it. Uh, I remember, say, Princess Diana's funeral, although that wasn't... Um, a state funeral as such. Uh, apparently the last state funeral we had in this country was Winston Churchill. Um, but it was a big funeral for Princess Diana. And because we were due to come back home on that day, we did actually travel up the night before. So we arrived home um, about four o'clock in the morning, I think it was. And uh, then we just a square as well oh i really have uh, looked these up a bit that's around that's around okay so let's do the same thing again <laughs> it's made this video a bit more interesting hasn't it i'll keep this box out now because in case we come across any more uh, five two yep there's the round and let's put the uh, squares in there Okay, how strange. Do you know, I could have sworn the last time I discovered that I'd got some rounds and squares in the wrong places, I thought I'd gone through them all and checked them. Obviously not. I'm going to blame my eyesight. I tell you, my eyesight's really bad. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, um, as I keep saying, it's a strange, odd feeling. Um, it's trying to be respectful as well. It, you know, it's like, you know, when I had friends and people pass away you just feel as though laughing is just wrong um, but I suppose life goes on um, I know they've been showing I don't know if anybody's seen the uh, Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration as it started off from Buckingham Palace the Queen did a little sketch with Paddington Bear and it was just fantastic and the Queen uh, Paddington got his uh, marmalade sandwich from under his hat and offered it to the Queen and she said oh no I always keep mine in here and she pulls out her um, marmalade sandwich from a handbag and it was just wonderful and it just shows what um, a sense of humour she had you know uh, I think we forget that these people um, love them or hate them they are people they still have feelings they you know, they've maybe had a privileged life, but they are still people at the end of the day. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm coming to the last one. As I say, I said this would be uh, quite a quick kitting down, albeit I've had to get my squares out because I've uh, put the wrong ones in. Silly Liz. Don't know what I'm doing, look. I tell you, I need supervision at all times. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, I hope you've uh, not been too depressed watching this one. Um, oh, thank you for all the good wishes as well. I, I am feeling uh, quite a bit better. I've had uh, quite a bit of sleep. Uh, in the last few days as well. I think I just needed a really, really good sleep. I've definitely not got the dreaded laggy. So, yeah, I, I'm doing okay. So, normal service is being resumed. <laughs> okay, so that is another one all kitted down. Okay, I'll leave those in there for now. Put my tray away. Put my lids on these. lovely a little westy i will be getting him put into a frame i've not decided which frame i'm putting him in yet um and where he's going to go so that's why i'm not going to show you the framing on this video but yeah so he's my first entry you're all putting me to shame some people have actually now completed three canvases so well done you and i love seeing them and there's so many that i've not seen and um, if you pop along and have a look at Hashtag living the 30 by 40 life 22. Um, I think we're up to about 17, 18 pictures there now. Some people are emailing me or sending me Facebook messages um, with their canvases so that I can upload them, uh, obviously with their permission. Um, um, I have put an album on my Facebook page now as well because I realise not everybody's on social media and some people are on Facebook and some people are on Instagram. So it's just so that everybody can see them. It's lovely seeing what everybody's done. And as I say, some of the pictures just look really, really good, even though they are only a small size. So don't be put off if you like small. Do the small ones. These are my favourite size, I have to say. Anyway... Um, I think I've rabbited on enough now. If you want to stay and watch the uh, video at the end, a little montage of the entries that we've had so far, the completions that we've had so far, then please do. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below as always. And of course, a thumbs up is always much appreciated if you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a little bit sad, but uh, yeah, uh, rest in peace, Her Majesty. And God save the king. Okay, thanks for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.